Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are back for another cash stuffing, one of my absolute favorites. We are also introducing our March binder. So we're gonna talk about that. We are still stuffing into February though. So we will talk about all the things. Let's first count this cash and make sure we have what I think we have. 50, 150, 250, 350, 4, 50, 500, 50, 6, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 800, and 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900, this is a mess. We will fix this in a minute. 925, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 952, I think. Y'all, it has been a while since I grabbed this from the bank. Y'all know I've been missing. Maybe you don't know. I have been missing for the last um, couple of weeks. I mean, not like physically, like I am still existing, but I have not been online. I haven't been chit-chatting with you guys, and I have been missing you guys. I hope that you're doing well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. I actually spent, let's kind of give a quick overview of where I've been because it's really easy to explain. Last week at the start of the week, I was packing up a ton of stuff. We're moving in less than a month. So in like a big cross country move by myself, I'm a single mom, two kids, right? So like I spent a lot of the start of the week prepping and I was like, it's okay. I'm going to get back on track on YouTube and Etsy and all the things. I'm going to get back on track like the whole last half of the week, but I spent the first few days prepping for this move, packing up the storage, doing like way overdoing it. I did, I got a lot done. It was good. But then we spent the last half of the week and this whole start of this week sick. <laughs> so it, I've been very thrown off. If you hear my kids coughing in the background, I am sorry. We've been okay. We've been taking it easy, but I have honestly, I've just been kind of waiting for them to get better because I don't want them to be like coughing in the background or having to sit here quiet. But we reached a point y'all to where I'm just like, I have been missing for so long. <laughs> so I gave the boys tablets. I asked them to be quiet, but they're still gonna be coughing and they're still in the room with me. So it is okay. They are fine, but just to let you guys know that's what's going on. That's where we've been. I'm happy to be back and very excited to get these budgets back in order. I meant to say binder, but like budgets work too. <laughs> so let's set up our cash here and then we will get into the cash stuffing. Let me know how you guys have been the last 10 days, last couple of weeks. What has been going on with you? I hope that you are doing well. I hope that everybody is healthy. Ironically, and it's kind of how these things go, right? But like right before we got sick, I was like, huh, it has been a while since we've been sick. And I thought we were gonna kind of beat all of the winter illnesses that were going around. I was like, we're making it through. I don't know where you're at, but in Mississippi, it already feels like winter weather is already done. So I kind of felt like we escaped winter without any of the illnesses. I was very wrong. Okay, let's move on to, before we get into February and March, because the, these binders are going to take most of our money. So we're gonna set these aside and just go ahead and put a little bit here. I do want to say though, if you did not get the March binder when it launched at the start of the month, it launched a bit more. There's 20 left. And once they're gone, they're gone for good. As far as the physical copy, we're gonna talk more about my membership and a way that you can get the printables and stuff for these but for now uh that's that's a different video for a different type of energy <laughs> like I just need more energy and more brain power to explain the membership and how I'm moving forward there but just know that if you do want these March binders and you want them shipped to you they are on Etsy right now but there's only about 20 of them left and once they're gone they're gone but we're gonna come back to this let's let's first put money into our 50 envelope savings challenge and our 52 week savings challenge because we're just gonna put money into a couple of spots here. We are using this 50 envelope savings challenge for birthdays. If we don't pull from this at all, we will have this fully stuffed by October but my boys birthdays are in August and September. So like we will have this pulled. I don't know what I was thinking when I made that card. Actually, somebody tell me what my thought process was. So we need to have this stuff before October. Um, let's go ahead and stuff the eight, five, six, seven, eight. And the idea is just to stuff this once a week and then we have it fully stuffed so it's very like low pressure on my budget we just stuff once a week but because i was completely mia both online and in my budget um 
we're gonna go ahead and stuff two because we need to make up for last week. So let's also stuff into the nine, five, let's do this. Five, seven, eight, nine. So that takes all of our ones. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the 52 envelope savings challenge, which for me, the 52 envelope savings challenge is to stuff for Christmas, which that is my intention because we have this, you know, cute little reindeer on here. So the intention is you stuff this all year and then by the time you have it completely stuffed, you have $1,378 and that kind of is your jump start or your full Christmas just depending on your family. We are done with the 50 envelope savings challenge for today. So we're gonna set this aside. Okay, because I'm already out of ones, again, I pulled this money from the bank a long time ago. I had, <laughs> um, I had intentions for it, but I just kind of scrapped that whole sheet because um, I know a lot of this money now needs to go towards like rent and bills in our March binder. So that's why we're, we're just going to stuff a couple of these, keep them on track, and then we will focus on February, March, kind of see what's left over. We're going to stuff into the 15, 15 and the 20. Y'all like my new teacher bag? I got this. It's like a travel bag off of Amazon, right? Like just a cheap zippered pouch. It is much bigger than what I was using before though because I did have like, this was like my planner kind of um, highlighters and pens. And then I had a similar bag that was like my teacher bag. I homeschool my boys. And so I just kind of combined all of the things into one bigger pouch. So I'm excited. It's the little things y'all. It's the little things that get me excited. All things organization are what I love. If you think about it, basically what I do on this channel is I organize money, right? I love organizing everything. Like I really wish I had more time to do a couple of other channels like house organization, homeschool organization. I just love organizing stuff. Um, I do love budgeting, don't get me wrong, but I mean, I could easily expand my budgeting organization and do other stuff as well because I'm just obsessed with organization. Anyway, that was just to say, I'm overly excited about organizing my, like my pens. <laughs> to me, that is just perfect. I have one bag for all of my homeschool stuff, all of my planner stuff, you know. Anyway, $15 into our Christmas savings and then $20 into our Christmas savings as well. Putting this to the side because this is now fully stuffed. And like I said, most of our money is going to be going to bills. So let's just talk about this for a second. And I do have a feeling today is going to be a shorter video because we're really just trying to catch up, right? And to catch up, we need to just do a couple of things. First off, as soon as the month of February started, in the past, I would have switched over to the March binder because it makes sense to me to switch to the March binder because we are now focusing on saving for things like mortgage. Can you guys, my camera doesn't know where to focus. So let my hands be weird for a second <laughs> while I try to block the stuff in the background, mortgage, bills, and subscription. So like I have decided I want to keep stuffing February during February because that also makes sense to keep saving for like grocery money and things that we haven't completed yet, like some of the savings challenge. But I will use the new, the next month's binder to start stuffing for bills and things that we will be paying that next month. Does that make sense? So I'm basically still using the binders the same, but I will be using two at a time instead of like in the past, I was just using one month at a time. So with all of that being said, the only thing I really want to do, no, let me take that back. We're gonna go back to February in a second because there's a couple things I need to do with that binder. For March though, all I need to do is I do want to stuff some into mortgage and bills because I just wanna make sure we're kind of on the right track. I like to have mortgage and bills completely stuffed and ready by the start of that month. So March is mortgage and bills. For the mortgage, I need 800, 50, 152, 53, 5400. So we're gonna go ahead and put $400 into mortgage. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four. Four hundred dollars that puts us halfway there for the mortgage. And then for bills, that really is my car note at this moment, which is $400. Let's go ahead and put one 200. Let's just do it. $200. <laughs> Can you tell by the tone of my voice? I don't want to, but we're going to do it because it's the responsible thing to do. $200 towards our car note. So that gets us halfway there with both of those things. And we are already done with the March binder for today. We should be back. Knock on wood. <laughs> We should be back very, very soon for another cash stuffing. But life has just been lifing lately, y'all. I do think when I move, things are going 
going to get better. Is anybody laughing when I say that? Because, you know, I've said that before. But I think when I move, it's going to be better because it's like, okay, this is a secure spot. We're not planning our next move. I have, for the entirety of my kid's life, been trying to plan the next move to get stable somewhere. And this one is actually like the time, you know, like it's actually happening. So we will also have more space there. So if the kids are sick, for example, like they are right now, I won't have to say, okay, well, the kids are sick and I don't want to be filming in their space while they're trying to rest and get better. I can easily like leave them to, they're older, they're seven and nine, so they can easily like hang out in their room while I film a video for 30 minutes, you know? So like the space is actually going to change things and make things easier too. So that happens in a month. We move in less than a month. We should be there and set up in a month because I've already moved in like kind of set up this space for us to live in. Of course, I'm going to be pretty busy, but like decorating rooms and like organizing rooms, but I, in that space, do plan on hanging out with you guys and bringing you along for that journey. I think that's gonna be really fun. So random rants, y'all, I'm sorry. And let's, let's move on to the cash stuffing. There is a lot to say and it will be said in future videos. If you're interested in any of that, please hang around. We would love to have you as a part of our budget fam. If you want to subscribe, it is free and it does help our channel and we would love to see you again in future videos. Groceries, we have one, two, three, 400, 500 in groceries currently, but y'all, I have been getting groceries off camera and again, didn't mess with this money because I didn't wanna just, I don't know, I don't like to mess with my budget when I'm like off camera anymore because I want you guys to see what's happening. Groceries though, we have spent about 350 these last couple of weeks. So I do wanna go ahead and pull 350 and put it in the bank and pay off the credit card that I got those groceries with. We are still, let's see, 150, so we, that's about right, right? Like we have 150 for next week. So we're about a, a week, I almost said a month. I wish we were a month ahead. We're about a week ahead on groceries and that is it right now. Healthcare, we're just gonna leave it though. Actually, no, we're not. Hold on, pause that thought. Pause that thought. Let's get two weeks ahead in groceries. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Let's go ahead and put 120 into groceries. This video is a whole hot mess and a half, y'all. I'm so sorry. Let's... <laughs> We are doing our best, but it is a little bit jumbled. Groceries, we have 50, 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270. If I counted that right, we have $270 now in groceries. So we're a couple of weeks ahead, which is nice. Ideally, we will be a full month ahead, but we're not there at this point. Healthcare, I need to pick up my thyroid medicine, so we're gonna leave this $50 there. Weekly money. Let's let's skip this for now. Monthly savings challenge. I do want to put a little bit in here, but let's not put too much because I would like to put also a little bit into our savings challenges. So let's see, what can we color with what we have? Okay, my brain is not prepared to math and I really, I only have fives of 50 and 20s left. So we're gonna skip this for today and just put the remaining money into our savings challenges. February, we'll be getting some money next week though to kind of make up for some of these savings challenges. I would love to complete by the end of February. All right, what is left? Insurance, I did pay insurance, but I was able to pay it just from my current check because I'm only paying a month at a time right now. And then whenever I move, I'm gonna need to switch. So let's just continue to beef this up a little bit. I've always paid six months at a time. I'm clearly just not there, right? Like <laughs> at this moment, let's put $50 in though and color in this spot. 50, 120, 40, $140 towards insurance for the car. We are gonna skip, I think, like all of the fun categories right now. Let's just focus on things that I think we're really gonna need. Since we are moving so soon, let's kind of just feel like we got it together a little bit, right? So triple A and car tag. Let's go ahead and add 20, 40, 60. We're gonna add $60 to this. I think I confused you guys on my last video though because I'm getting a lot of mixed answers on how to handle this. And I do agree though, it just, it differs by state. So that's also why I'm probably getting some mixed information. Um, but first, thank you guys for letting me know that it even differs by state because I really knew nothing until I started reading all of you guys' comments. But as far as the car tag goes, I already got my car tag in Mississippi in November. So I've already paid for my car tag 
in Mississippi in November. I'm moving to Iowa, so I need to figure out how Iowa handles car tax because I just bought a car tax, right? So that's kind of where I'm at, but I want to go ahead and beef this up a little bit, put a little bit of money in here in case I do need to get it kind of as soon as I move, and it's a lot of money. I don't know. Something else, too, you guys have been saying, it sounds like it's going to be more expensive the first time I buy it, and then it's less expensive because I'm going to need to pay taxes or maybe that's, I guess that's what car tags are. Y'all, I have no, I have no idea what I'm doing, but it sounds like it's going to be more expensive the first time when I get my new state tag and then subsequent years, it should be cheaper. Am I reading that information right? Is that what's happening? So I am a little worried, but like healthily worried rightfully worried so I just want to get things in order right so we're gonna put as much as we can into this when we can 20 40 60 80 100 150 170 towards car tag and triple a and it sounds like I need to beef this up quite a bit oh I didn't color it we'll color it another time y'all it is it's okay we'll color and catch up a different time um car maintenance I did not pull this cash yet to get an oil change because I have not gotten an oil change. Pretty much since the last time I've seen you guys, we've been, we were really busy for a few days packing and then we've been sick. So I have not been taking the car anywhere. I do need to get that oil change. I'm actually going to put all of the remaining money in here just in case something pops up when I go get that oil change in case there's anything I want to get. I do want some new windshield wipers too or some rain -X because my wipers are not the best and uh, I used to have rain -X on my car all the time and I have gotten away from that I say the last eight years and so I think I just want a really good bottle of like do y'all know what I'm talking about with rain -X? It, It's like when it rains it the water just kind of streams right off the windshield. You don't even need windshield wipers. That's how I remember it being. Is it that awesome in real life? Maybe my memory is just tricking me, but I remember Rainex being like the coolest thing ever. Anyway, car maintenance, we added our remaining money. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 25, 30, $130 towards car maintenance. That is probably all going to an oil change or most of it because prices have gotten ridiculous for all of the things. But if there's some money left over, I'm gonna get some rain -X as well. It's the little things that make me happy. That is it for today's cash stuffing. I hope that you guys enjoyed it or found it entertaining or helpful in some way. I am also feeling very, very bad about my flakiness lately. Um, I know it could be worse. I'm still around, <laughs> but I used to upload at least a couple of times a week very consistently, and I've gotten away with that this last, you know, 12 to 14 months because life has just been a bit chaotic. If you are still hanging around with me, if you're still catching all my videos, thank you so much for being a part of the budget fam. I can't tell you enough like how grateful I am for you. And all that being said, I hope that you know I have major plans to get back to the same consistency and the same uploads and some variation in my uploads like I used to do. That is all in plans for me. I just have to make it through this move first. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.